Speaking of uh, Cyclone Oki, it's been nine days of agony for some families of the fishermen missing since the cyclone hit Kerala's coastline, killing 38 people. And questions are now being raised about whether these men would be home today with their families if adequate cyclone warnings had been issued. 25-year-old Shimi Freddy is worried. In the last nine days since Cyclone Oki struck, she has heard nothing about her husband, a fisherman. Local churches have turned refuge centres in several coastal districts of Kerala, with people like Shimi, her two children and hundreds of others camping there, hoping to hear something about their missing husbands or relatives, the only earning members of their families. Thirty-eight fishermen have died and there are still multiple figures for those missing, from 96 small-scale fishermen to around 200 fishermen in larger boats. While rescue operations by the Navy, Air Force and Coast Guard continue, people wait anxiously for some news. We can't let the government evade the responsibility for having failed to take the necessary preventive measures to issue the warnings that apparently were issued next door in the state of Tamil Nadu and certainly were issued the next day in Lakshadweep where no casualties, no fatalities have occurred. Idhira kandu kondu ISRO yuda saangkethika sahayam thedi satellite il thanne transponder il nammal edu namukke nammal edu disaster management inu fisheries department inu prathegamai space avar reserve edu kondu nammal edu sahayika. In 2017, it is imperative for states, especially coastal states, to focus on strengthening their disaster mitigation systems, especially for disasters like cyclone and the impact that they leave. And these tears and mornings are only a testimony to that. With camera person SP Babu, Sneha Koshi for NDTV.